Tammy Bruce is a political columnist for the Washington Times, also a Fox News contributor. You saw the news coverage over the weekend. Both of mm. these candidates really got caught up in some, some um, stretches, shall we say, or at least some controversial statements. But the media really seemed to be piling on Donald Trump. Why? Yeah, well, we're going to see that from now until Election Day, and then through the first four years of his presidency, they're going to pile on. I think that this is what's interesting when you have a candidate like Hillary who doesn't have press conferences, so she doesn't speak generally, and Mr. Trump, who has many. Uh, I think, though, that when you're talking about especially his comments about Russia, uh, this is interesting because... The next president, who I think will be Mr. Trump, is going to have to clean up what is clearly an emerging new Cold War. And this is something I think that he wants to stop. I don't think any of us want a new Cold War emerging. And in order to do that, you've got to engage. And this is what he is saying. He made it clear, obviously, that when he's president, things will be different. We've learned last year that uh, Obama's administration uh, told Crimea to stand down when Russia was moving in. So that's already been given away. We've got a disaster because of the Obama-Hillary um, uh, theory about how to approach this. So the next president does have to address it. And I believe he's, uh, he's trying to do that. That story you alluded to. To. The Obama administration decided that if, if Crimea put up a big fuss, right. that it could potentially, um, well, anger Vladimir Putin That's and things right. might be even worse. Yeah, the theory was, was that if you placate him, we've seen this historically, if you placate a tyrant, he'll do less. What we found with Mr. Putin is that he'll keep poking and prodding and move further along. This is why we've got the problem we have now. It has nothing to do with what Mr. Trump is saying and everything to do with what Hillary uh, and Obama have been doing. All right. And, and then the uh, question about the presidential debates. Mm. Uh, two of the three presidential debates are on the night of NFL football games. Right. Trump is now saying, well, I didn't exactly get a letter from the NFL. I was made aware of the NFL's mm. concerns. But you do have to wonder who schedules football. I'm sorry, who schedules debates on Sunday and Monday night against the NFL? Well, the Commission for the Presidential Debates bills itself as nonpartisan. They're actually bipartisan. It is a series of individuals who are associated with the establishment, Republicans and Democrats, who have an investment in the status quo. Uh, Mr. Ferenkopf and Mr. Uh, McMurray, uh, who are the co-chairs, one with the RNC, one was, of course, a Bill Clinton's a press secretary, uh, are now both lobbyists. The lobbyist framework of the interests of everyone who's on that board is extensive. It's exclusive. Exclusively an investment in the establishment as it stands. Now, for the establishment, in the mood of the country that we have now, sunlight is not their friend. And this is a situation where the fewer people that hear someone like Hillary Clinton, who is the establishment candidate, does not do well when people hear her and, and uh, lots of people hear her. Mr. Trump, of course, represents uh, the Reformation, and he benefits when more people hear what he has to say. Well, and particularly, I mean, Donald Trump is doing very well among blue-collar uh, white males. Yes, exactly. Those are the guys who love to turn on their football game on a Sunday yeah, night. Yeah, I, Americans in general of football. Uh, we love our sports. I do. This is, this is a target, though. You're absolutely right. Th this was not uh, just a happenstanceical dynamic. These dates are going to have to change. Mr. Trump has made that clear. But I think it's important for the American people to realize that the Commission for Presidential Debates is not some kind of anonymous, nonpartisan, fair group dropped in from the planet Venus. They are people from the establishment. They have an interest in this. And the American people are going to have to look at both parties as are private clubs. The Commission for Debates is a Effectively, a private club to facilitate those interests and whether or not we want the situation to continue once this particular election is done. They have already said we are not moving those mm. debates. Well, I saying it's impossible to do at this oh, point. Oh, yes, of course, because, you, you know, somebody else is controlling their ability. They can do whatever they want, and they can change them. The American public should demand that they do so. It's in all of our interests in democracy, no matter who you stand for. If you're a supporter for Hillary, of course you want people to hear her. Why do, would you want someone to be hidden? It's not good for the democracy, it's not good for the voter, and it's not good for the country. Of course, you know, Prince Charles was able to move his wedding to uh, Prince, well, Camilla Parker Bowles mm -hmm. uh, because of the death of the Pope. If you can do something like that, you ought to be able to move a presidential debate. Yeah, you, you can. And even when uh, uh, William and Kate were first married, they had planned to go on a vacation right as we were going to strike bin Laden. That was canceled. They changed their plans. Everyone else in the world realizes that things can change and sometimes must change. Uh, and we should not buy the arguments that there's nothing people can do. Uh, that's, that's, I think, we're going to prove that wrong. And Mr. Trump, I think, is going to prove them wrong as well. Interesting perspective.
Tammy Bruce, Fox yeah. News contributor. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, John.